Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing an update of a watch model line that launched in 2018. That was the current generation of the Cartier Santos de Cartier. This is the 2020 update, the Santos de Cartier, black DLC. So Santos de Cartier, inspired by the watch created by Louis Cartier in 1904 for the aviator Alberto Santos Dumont of Brazil. He was not initially an airplane pilot. He was a dirigible pilot flying his cantankerous airships over Paris, he needed both hands to operate the machine. Thus, a pocket watch, which required a separate hand and a free hand, was impossible. So the watch worn on the wrist became the solution. The Santos became one of the first ever wrist watches, first ever sports watches, and probably the first ever pilot's watch. In 2018, it gained the design you see right here. This 2020 DLC coded update features a number of changes, but the same fundamental size. So it is 39.8 millimeters across, not including the crown. It is svelte, thin, at 9.5 millimeters thick, and then from lug tip to lug tip, 47.7 millimeters. So this is the large, but I'll be honest with you, it wears more like a medium from other brands. I'll throw it on my wrist to get a good look at it. Uh, it's a watch that sits relatively low on the wrist that's very flat, that's easy to wear as a dress watch if you want to wear it as such. It comes with two straps, one in black rubber, one in this sort of anthracite alligator leather, so you get a sense that there are some options if you want to change the fit and change the look. I would recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference. It becomes a lot easier to wear once the strap is broken in and sized up with the clasp, but I'm going to leave this unbuckled now so you can have the privilege of bending and crimping it when you buy it. Now, the watch does feature a quick release system for the strap, so you're going to find there's no problem swapping between the alligator and the rubber strap that comes. The rubber strap has little partitions and simulated bolts in it. So it has a profile that includes a, I guess you could describe it as a type of molded in knurling and bolts atop that make it look like a black bracelet on a Cartier Santos. And this is a very simple system to use. You just press down and it releases. It works just like an automotive seat belt. So you stick it in, it snaps back into place. The clasp is an upgraded version of a clasp originally created by Louis Cartier in 1909. Now, that was probably the first ever deployant clasp created for a wristwatch. Now, the change here is that this example now features twin trigger release. These clasps traditionally have been friction fit or snap fit. That's not ideal on a sports watch, so here you have to press both triggers to release the mechanism. You can see it still has the external form of that original buckle as it looks like it's made of a sort of bent wire, all polished internally. You can see it still crimps the strap underneath. So what happens is you stick the strap underneath, you crimp it in, and it holds it in place with the extra length underneath the clasp body and the strap, so no extra length flaps in the breeze. So when sized down, it's a very clean look. You can see it's fully integrated, no daylight between strap and case, so it's as all of a piece with the straps as it would be if this were a bracelet-equipped Santos. Now, the case is remarkably nuanced. You can see that it's got a flowing, almost organic profile to it when viewed end-on. It's not nearly as rectangular as it appears when you look at it from head-on. So we have satin finished flanks. We have a polished bevel that runs all the way across, and you can see that bevel expands at the end. So it's finished the same as a bare steel Santos. It just has that additional dramatic black polish factor. You can see a blackened cabochon atop the fast crown, giving it a wonderfully dark and insidious look. We have satination across the top, both the top of the case and the top of the bezel, and the functional assembly bolts that are used, I should say these are screws, not bolts, but the functional assembly screws that are used on the bezel are left polished for a nice sharp contrast. You always know you're looking at the current post-2018 version of the Santos because the bezel has this little waterfall-like motif up at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. It's not perfectly uh, rounded off square like the prior version. Now, the dial matches the case, matches the bezel. As you can see, it is vertical, dark satin finish. We have blackened hour and minute hands, and in good taste, Cartier made sure that the disc for the date was also white on black. Let's take a quick look at what you get. The loom shot here uh, proves that you give up nothing when you go with this awesome, industrial, sinister, prowling, I'm doing that lighting effect, uh, 
look on your Santos. So you've got something that definitely looks a bit like a, a Hitman's special, like something John Wick would wear if he didn't already wear Bucherer. Now you can also see that it has a lot of the conventional and expected Cartier elements, including the railroad track minutes and seconds at center, radially arrayed, exaggerated Roman numerals, including a watchmaker's four, the so-called Cartier secret signature down at seven o'clock, and then broadsword style hands. The reverse is solid, but you can see it is water resistant down to 100 meters. What you can't see is that this movement, the in-house 1847 MC, is also anti-magnetic up to 1200 gauss it will still keep excellent time and resist stopping which is unexpected but outstanding it's a 25.6 millimeter automatic that's a drop-in replacement for the eta 2892a2 which means it's an automatic winder with a 42 hour power reserve a quick set date hacking seconds a four hertz or eight beat per second rate and it pivots on 23 joules and it is made by cartier designed and built by cartier for cartier reach out to team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details